put you on mute and um, yes, we will begin. So let's see here. Nice group this morning. Okay. All right, tuck that right back there. Okay, go ahead and get started. All right, so everybody just wants to um, make their way onto the back body and just get comfortable in any way, shape, or form. So you can. Um, you can use a blanket or a bolster or a pillow or anything that you'd like. And if you'd prefer to stay seated, if that's more comfortable, that's completely okay too. So up to you, however you'd like to be this morning. So just go ahead and make your way into that, that comfortable position. Oh, onto the back body. And just close the eyes and open up the palms. Let the palms just be nice and open towards the sky. Just take a moment and just kind of do a scan of the body and how the body is arriving on your mat this morning. So just any, any bit of discomfort or anything like that, just, just begin to notice it. If there's anything going on in the body at all. Just begin to deepen the breath and envision the breath moving to wherever that might be. So if you have tension in the in the back and the neck and the knees, wherever it is, just envision your breath coming in through the nose and making its way into the body. Just envision it making its way to the body and sweeping out whatever that is, whatever that discomfort is. And as you exhale, just envision it leaving. Just envision it leaving. Nice full breath in, envision it moving its way into the body, and exhaling, just really letting everything go, just clearing out the body, cleansing the body. Let's begin to deepen the breath, so just bring a little bit more air in. A little bit more air in, and even maybe pause for just a tiny second at the top of your inhalation, and then very slowly let that breath go. Very slowly, a couple times. Just focus on lengthening the breath. Begin to notice where the mind is. Where is the mind this morning? Just begin to watch wherever the mind is going. Notice if the mind is elsewhere from your mat. And begin to send the breath there. Just envision the breath moving its way into the mind. Whatever thoughts might be on the mind, just envision them exhaling and just floating away up and above us, just leaving and letting go, just clearing space. And of course, a new thought will float into the mind. When it does, just same thing, let the breath wrap into it. And exhale and let it go. Let's take a full breath in, and this time open mouth exhale. Just let go. One more time. Nice big breath in. Nice 
let it go. And then find some movement. Begin to send some movement into the wrists. Roll the wrists. Uh, and roll the ankles. Make a couple of fists with the palms. Mm. And take a full body stretch when you are ready. Nice full body stretch. Oh. And lift the hands up and down by the sides of the body. And let's bend the knees. Bend those knees. Just lift up for a moment with the hips and then place the hips a little bit closer towards the feet just to get a little extra length through the back body. A little extra length through the back body. And then bring the knees in towards the chest. Just take a moment, just right here. Just tucking the knees in towards the chest. Kind of flex and point through the toes for a moment. Mm. Then roll a couple of gentle circles on the low back. And change direction. Just keep that right knee in. So interlace the fingers. Keep the right knee in. Extend the left leg all the way out. Extend the left leg. Just pull that right knee in. Couple nice big circles with the with the ankle. And then just keep the left hand on top of that right shin. And pull the knee all the way over towards the left. Just let yourself experience a nice twist here. And you can extend the leg out if that feels good. It's a really nice big twist. So just go very gently. If it doesn't feel comfortable, just back off from it a little bit. And then ease your way back onto the back body. Let's tug that right knee in and lift the foot up towards the sky. Just lift the foot <clears throat> up towards the sky. And roll the ankle a few times towards the right, a few times towards the left. Mm. And then bring that knee back in towards the chest and <clears throat> place the foot onto so place the right foot onto the inside of the left thigh so kind of like tree pose but reclined here so a reclined version of tree pose a nice reclined version of tree pose just envision the hips just kind of close your eyes and bring your attention towards your hips notice if one is lifting up off of the earth and bring the hands onto the hips and just Ask them to both stay grounded. Just feel kind of that nice opener here. And then let's just reach down and guide that knee back up. Guide the knee back up and extend that right leg all the way beside the left. And let's take a full body stretch. Nice full body stretch right here. Oh. And float the arms down again by the sides of the body. And bend the knees, lift the hips up just a little bit and place the hips back down, just lengthen through the back body. Both knees pull in towards the chest. Nice big hug, little rock, little rock and roll on the back body. Keep that left knee in. Left knee is gonna stay in and we're gonna extend the right leg out this time. Just kind of roll the ankle maybe a little bit. Roll the ankle. Mm, feels nice and good. And then keep the right hand on top of that left shin and nice twist. Let's make that happen. Extend the left arm out. If it feels good, slide the coffee over. You can extend the leg out. Oh, maybe gaze towards the sky or even out towards the left hand. Send that breath into your twist. Envision the breath making its way into the spine. And wringing everything out, letting it all go. And then let's bend back into that knee and slowly make our way back onto the back body. Pull the knee in towards the chest and extend the foot up towards the sky. So extend it up towards the sky. Mm. 
Roll a couple of circles with the foot. Go real gentle here with it. Nice and gentle. And then bring the knee back down and we're gonna bring that left foot, the sole of the left foot onto the inside of the right thigh. So recline tree pose basically on this side. And again, the same thing, bring the hands onto the hips. So this foot's just right on the inside of the thigh. Sole of the foot's on the inside of the right thigh. And just bring the palms onto the hips. Just ask them to both stay grounded. Just close the eyes, take a breath in. Any pain, discomfort, just send the breath there and exhale, let it go. Let it just float away. Feel yourself melt a little deeper into the mat. And then gently, gently just guide that knee back up. Extend the foot all the way out. Let's take a full body stretch. Reach through the hands. Reach, reach, reach. This time, just bend the elbows and come into that goal post arm. Your nice goal post arm. Let the shoulders just open. Just let everything go. Mm, just let yourself be. Take a couple of breaths right here. Just feel the heart open, feel the chest open. And then go ahead and connect the fingers, interlace the fingers, flip the hands up, flip them back. And then release and roll the wrist a little bit and just bring the palms down by the sides of the body. We'll bend the knees once again. Take your time. Lengthen through the back body. So just lift the hips up a little bit and place the hips back down. Pull the knees in towards the chest. This time, let's make our way into happy baby pose. Reach for those feet. You can grab onto the feet. You could grab onto the backs of the Legs, whatever feels good here. So this is another option. Oh, nice happy baby pose. Maybe extend one leg and then the opposite leg. Let's see what feels good. Mm, and guide those feet together. Let the palms come all the way down the backs of the legs. And woo, your choice. You can either rock up to a seated position or you can roll over to the side body and just make your way up to a seated position. Completely your choice. So we're just going to find a nice, comfortable seated position on the mat. Take your time. Get nice and comfortable. <laughs> mm. Just envision the sit bones really grounded. Just take a couple of breaths, just right here. Envision the crown of the head lifting. Lifting nice and tall. And let's actually extend the legs out this morning. And again, you might need to kind of pull a little cushion out from underneath the rump. And then sit up nice and tall, nice and tall. And let's just keep the gaze Hi, <laughs> Pete. Let's keep the gaze forward and go ahead, take a nice forward fold and just let the gaze, when you get to that point where you just feel like you are not going to fold any further, that's when you want to let the head go. So, again, this is kind of early in the morning and our first forward fold. So, just go real gentle here. Just let the head go. Let the head go and then gently, gently make your way up. Gently make your way up. Let's go ahead and bend through the knee. You guys hear me okay? Okay, good. Just check it. 
Hi, buddy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're going to start. We'll bend with that right knee, right knee, left knee. <laughs> let's bend with the left knee. And just keep that right leg straight out in front of us. And, ex or, excuse me, if you can, cross the left foot up and over. Go ahead and cross that left foot, excuse me. Yeah, left foot. <laughs> My mirroring is a little off this morning. And then just kind of hug through the leg and just reach back. Reach back behind us and just take a nice little twist. Get a little upper body twist going here. Mm. Feels pretty good. And then gently unwind. Gently unwind and let's bring the foot kind of back into that. We're gonna revisit that tree pose variation again. We're gonna do that a couple of times this morning. So just bring that left foot onto the inside of the right thigh and exhale, take a little forward fold over that leg. So really kind of isolating the right hamstring here. Mm. Send the breath there. Any tension, anything at all, just bring the breath there. And exhale, deepen just a little bit with it. And then gently roll your way up. Gently roll your way up. Let's go ahead and extend that left leg out. Just kind of shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. And let's change sides. So let's bring the right knee in and cross it over as long as that feels okay. Cross it over. Reach that right arm back behind us. I like to use my little gecko fingers here. Kind of hard to see, but just kind of use your fingertips. And then roll that right shoulder up and back. And let's gaze behind us. Nice, big upper back body twist. Mm, mm. Bring the gaze back forward, bring the body back forward. Let's bring that foot onto the inside of the thigh as long as this feels okay. If it really doesn't feel good, you can always just keep the leg out. But as long as it feels okay, bring that right foot onto the inside of the left thigh. Lift through the back body, lift through the belly, and exhale, take a nice forward fold over that left leg. Let go. Let it all go. And then gently go ahead, roll your way up. And let's shake it out first a little bit. Shake it out and then we're gonna go ahead and pull both feet together. So see if we can bring the soles of the feet together. And I like to use my hands kind of like you're um, getting ready to read a book. So thumbs go onto the inside of the soles of the feet <laughs> and just peel that book open. Roll the shoulders up and back. And sit up nice and tall. Just take a nice big breath. Mm. Mm, and then go ahead and just release it. Go ahead and just release the legs a little bit. Again, kind of shake it out. Shake it out. Your choice, you can keep the legs extended or you can bend the knees and just come back into like a sukhasana. And let's focus on the neck a little bit. Let's give the neck some love. So go ahead and just tilt that right ear over towards the right shoulder. Mm, take a couple of nods here. So keep the left shoulder just drop down, but take a couple of nods as long as it feels okay. And then take that nod all the way through, all the way through and over towards the left. Same thing. Mm. Couple nice nods. And then just bring that chin all the way forward. 
just a couple of half moons here. So keep the motion going. So or half neck circles, I should say. And then when you're ready, bring it all the way around. Oh, a couple nice big circles. Change the direction when you're ready. Nice big circles. Mm-hmm. And let's just bring that head and neck back up to a neutral position. And we're gonna make our way into our table pose. So come up onto the palms, bring those knees underneath the hips, and lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, breathe in. Exhale, round it up. A oh. few times, nice big lift, breathe in, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, and exhale, round it out. Tailbone gaze, lift, round it out, pull that belly in, really envision the belly button almost reaching up into the spinal column as you round it out. One more time. Mm, take a nice round and sink that round all the way back into child's pose. All the way back into your child's pose and just pause there in your child's pose. Just take about three cycles of breath in child's pose right there. Three nice big cycles of breath. And then reach the arms forward if they aren't already. Reach the arms forward and we're gonna crawl those fingers all the way forward towards the front of the mat and the hips begin to lift as we do this, kind of transitioning into puppy dog pose. So the chest melts down, the hips are lifted. And let the head go. Mm. Nice big breaths. Mm, and then sink back with the hips again. Back down to child's pose. And really take your time. You can almost drag the arms here a little bit and really get a nice, nice stretch through the spinal column as you do this. Mm -hmm. And then once you're back down into child's pose, Walk the hands over towards the right. Walk the hands over towards the right. Let the body come all the way towards the right. But pull that left hip back. So we get a nice stretch through the left hand side of the body. And then same thing, walk the hands forward. Walk them forward oh, all the way over towards the left. Pull that right hip back in a nice big stretch through the right hand side of the body. And walk those fingers forward. And kind of transition. So keep the elbows just right here on the earth. Open up the palms nice and wide. I'm going to just step back one foot at a time. So the elbows are on the earth. Just step back one foot at a time. Stretch out through the calves, kind of like you're walking your dog out here. Mm, but not in down dog, kind of a variation of table. And then we're gonna tuck the toes. And as long as it feels okay, make your way into dolphin pose. So you've got the forearms just right there on the earth. It's a really big stretch for the calves. And it also is a little bit on the, on the forearms, a little bit of a strength move. So if it doesn't feel good, you can come right back down. And when you're ready, let's come back down. And scooch back with the hips. So forearms are gonna stay right here on the earth. We are going to bring the hips down. Forearms are right here. Roll those shoulders up and back. Gaze out towards the fingertips. If it's too much on your low back, open up through the legs. Mm. 
But if it feels okay, bring the legs together. Just take a moment, your sphinx pose, just nice and quiet here. And then pull the shoulders down underneath the, or excuse me, pull the hands underneath the shoulders and just bring the body all the way down. Shake those hips out just a little bit. I like to walk the hands apart here. So the palms are underneath the elbows. A little lift through the heart and then just dip one shoulder at a time. It should feel really nice, especially after our dolphin pose. One shoulder at a time, just dip it down into serpent pose. Mm, and then just go ahead and bring the hands underneath the chin, kind of shake the hips out for a moment. Bring the feet up. Windshield wiper those feet back and forth. Windshield wiper the feet. And then just bring the feet back down onto the earth and just take a nice full big breath right here. Let it go. And we're going to transition. We're going to bring the palms underneath the shoulders. Transition into your baby cobra. So nice and long through the back of the neck. Lift through the heart. And bring it back down. Go ahead, make your way onto the knees, onto the hands and onto the knees. Tuck those toes. Make your way into down dog if it feels okay. Down dog is completely optional. You can also just stay right here in table. That is an option as well. But in down dog, just maybe shake that head out a little bit. Walk the feet out a little bit. See what feels good. Mm -hmm. And then just tiptoe your way all the way to the front of the mat and make your way into a nice forward fold. Nice forward fold, grasp onto opposite elbows. Let the head go. Uh -huh. Nice and long. Let the hands go if that feels good. Little bend into the knees, rise all the way up. Lift the palms, lift the gaze, gaze up towards those fingers. And exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Hmm. Nice, big breath in, lift the palms, lift the gaze. Exhale, go ahead and take a forward fold here. Bring the palms up to the shins, find a little bit of length. Exhale, nice forward fold. Rise all the way up with that in breath and exhale, palms to heart center. We'll add on just a little bit. So lift the palms, lift the gaze, breathe in, connect those fingers, interlace them, extend the pointer fingers out. Take a nice tilt over towards the right. Nice tilt over towards the right. Mm -hmm. Come back in with it. Nice tilt over towards the left. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. Let go of those hands. Exhale. Forward fold all the way down. Bring the palms to the shins. Find some length. Exhale. Forward fold. Rise all the way up, all the way up, breathe in. Palms through to heart center. So let's put the weight into the left foot. And we're gonna begin with the right foot. So kind of continuing on our tree pose journey this morning. You can either use your toes as a kickstand if you'd like to. You can bring the foot onto the inside of the calf or maybe the inside of the thigh. Just 
be mindful, not the inside of the knee. So if that foot is sliding down onto the knee, time to move it. So just use your dristy, <laughs> your gazing point, something still, not yourself or probably not me. Just find a dristy, a gazing point, a nice still point to look at. Woo! And then become whatever tree you'd like to be this morning. Nice, grounded, strong tree. Remember to keep breathing. Mm. Couple nice big breaths right here. Beautiful. Feel free to use any prop that you'd like here. The wall, it's a good one. And then bring the hands back down through heart center and just bring that foot down. Kind of shake it out a little bit. Shake it out just a little bit. Let's go ahead. Opposite side. So that means we're going to be strong with that left, or excuse me, the right foot's going to be nice and strong into the earth. But the left foot's going to lift up. And same thing. This side could be different. It's kind of fun to see which side feels different and if there is a difference in the two of them. Woo! For me, this side is not feeling quite as stable this morning, but still use your dristy, your gazing point, whatever that may be. Hold you nice and still. Bring the hands through to heart center. And then go ahead. If you would like to become your tree, feel free to use the wall or anything nearby, a couch or whatnot, if you need a little stability. So just stay nice and strong, keep breathing. And bring the hands down. Beautiful, you guys, really nice. Go ahead and just Bring it down, kind of walk it out for a moment. Step it out. Let's go ahead, let's make our way through a sun salutation, just to kind of get a little stretch through the back of the legs. So lift the palms, lift the gaze, breathe it in. Exhale, oh, take a nice forward fold. Bring the palms up towards the shins, a little bit of length through the back of the legs. Exhale, forward fold. Walk the feet out in this forward fold. Just kind of heel toe them apart so you're in a nice wide leg stance. And just get that forward fold going even further. Let go. Really, really, really let go here. Mm hmm. Mm. And then just gently bring the hands up onto the hips as long as that feels okay. A little bend into the knees. Lift back up. Hello, everybody. And just heel toe the feet back together. Go ahead and heel toe those feet back together. Take your time. Take your time. One more time. Nice sun salutation. Lift the palms, lift the gaze, breathe it in. Exhale. Forward fold. Mm. Palms to the shins, length out through the back of the legs. Exhale, forward fold. This time, let's go ahead and just step back, one foot at a time, back into our downward facing dog. Shake out that down dog. Bring the knees down onto the earth. Untuck the toes, sink back with the hips. Just take a child's pose. Take about three breaths in your child's pose. Just going to check our time really fast. Beautiful. Mm, nice child's pose. Full breath in. Mm, let it go. And then a nice... Lift through the tailbone, lift through the heart, come back into your table. So we're going to make our way into our pigeon pose this morning for the peats that are joining us. 
So pigeon is an option. There's a couple of things you can do here, but the classical pigeon, I like to begin, I like to begin in down dog. Let me just show from this direction. And lift that right foot up towards the sky. Bring it up towards the right wrist. Very nice. Keep the hips squared. Then I like to kind of scooch back with the leg. So I'm kind of scooching back here with my, my left leg. And then just come into a forward fold. So that's one option. But if you're just not a fan of this position, which is fine. Another option is to take it from the back body. You can cross a leg over, reach through and grasp on. That's a completely perfect way of doing this. And I like to call it a reclined pigeon. So your option, whichever feels better for you this morning. But if you're in that regular, Original pigeon pose. Just let go and enjoy it. Let the head go, let everything go. And begin to lift through the head. Just tuck through the left toe and just lift up with the left knee. So I like to have my arms, just my forearms onto the mat here. Get a nice additional stretch and bring the hands up onto the mat and maybe lift up and stack the leg. Get a nice counter stretch here, whatever feels good. Go ahead and bring that foot down. Take your time. If you need to come down into child's pose or anything, that's perfect. Or you can always take this from table too. So either from down dog or table, let's lift up with that left leg. And bring that left knee through. Scooch back with the right leg. Square off through the hips. Fold forward. And again, if this doesn't feel right, go ahead and take that reclined pigeon. So just kind of that figure four positioning on the back body and get that hip stretch that way. Your choice, whatever feels good. A couple nice big breaths right here. Folding it out. And when you're ready, go ahead and let's tuck through that right toe. Lift up with the right knee. Get an additional stretch there through the hip. And bring the hands underneath the shoulders. And maybe lift up with that left leg. Maybe stack the leg. See what feels good to you here. And go ahead and bring it down. Shake the head out. Let everything go. Oh, bring the knees back down to the earth. And let's go ahead and transition onto the bum. So let's make our way back onto the rump. So Yogi's choice this morning, if there is a position that feels good or sounds good that you would like to experience this morning or maybe revisit, go ahead and, and make your way there. <laughs> Anything at all. Take your time and enjoy it. And just see what feels good. Mm. And then Take plenty of time there, wherever it is. And then once you complete that, 
either bring the soles of the feet together and just let the knees open up and make your way into Supta Baddha Konasana. Or if this doesn't feel good, you can open up the feet and let the knees fall in towards one another. That is another option. Your choice, whatever you'd like. Now let's just take about five cycles of breath there. Come back to that nice big breath. Long, lengthened breath. Almost like it's an audible breath that you could fog a mirror with, but the lips are remaining sealed. Just quiet the body. And when you're ready, let's go ahead. We're going to begin to extend the legs out. Take as much time as you'd like here. Extend the legs out. Maybe get a blanket or a pillow, anything that'll make you comfortable for your savasana this morning. And open up the arms out to just out by the sides again. Let the palms face the sky. Let the breath return back to normal. Just let it go. Let the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. And just let yourself completely be in your savasana this morning. And just stay here for several minutes. If you can stay for a nice 10 minutes, that is beautiful. Just really absorb the benefits of your practice this morning. One really fun way to take savasana is to bring the legs up against the wall. So they're basically just lifted right up against a wall, just having some support. So let that be an option as well if you have a wall nearby and would like to try that. Just let yourself completely be. And I will leave you this morning in your savasana. Take as much time as you'd like here. I so appreciate everybody joining. It's beautiful having the opportunity to share practice with you this morning and every week. Thank you very, very, very much. Be well, be happy, be free. Namaste.